everyone and welcome back to Horsehaven! And we are at Mythlandia Isle, where we keep all of our beautiful fantasy horses and will very soon hopefully have the opportunity to add in the new constellation horse! Yes! Okay, I know I said a few days ago that we would totally be coming back and we would be working with the constellation horse uh, like the next day, but things got really busy and now I am frantically concerned that we are not going to have enough time to tackle not only the Yellow Rose Cup, but also the absolutely stunning Scorpio 3. Look at this. This is like one of the fantasy horses of my dreams. When I was younger, I totally loved everything about the idea of Pegasus and unicorns, and I just think it is so much fun to see that kind of beautiful fantasy equine life brought to life in the continual amazing advancement of these constellation horses. The, I mean, to me, they're just as cool as the fantasy horses themselves. And this one, I really feel like the Scorpio 3 kind of takes the cake as one of the most amazing horses they have designed yet. So I would absolutely love to be able to add this horse into my fantasy stables, long story short. But we need to figure out how we would possibly breed up the Scorpio 3. Uh, and the Scorpio 3 is basically the third year they've done constellation horses. They just add in new ones every year. I have no idea if in another like five or six years we're going to be looking at like Scorpio 8, Scorpio Scorpio 9, but it would be kind of interesting to see what happens as the constellation horses continue to begin to number as many stars in the sky. So all of that uh, waxing poetic about this awesome horse aside, we're going to learn today how do we breed the Scorpio 3. So let's take a peek. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so Rocky Mountain and Oldenburg, Dutch Harness and Dartmoor Pony, Coniera Pony, and Clydesdale. Do I have any of those horses? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, we're going to have to go and we are going to have to frantically search along our stables. And I have always said I was going to do this and I still haven't, but this would save me so much time right now. I think if you guys are like me, you have gotten up this high of a level and you are looking forward to really trying to tackle a lot of these events, save yourself a lot of time and heartache by making a little like word document and write down all of your horses, open up a notebook, write down which horse it is, where you have them stored and what they are because now I have to go frantically looking. I think we have, I know we have Rocky Mountains with Willow. Do we have an Oldenburg? Let's see if we have an Oldenburg. I know we have Dutch Harness. Do we have a Dartmoor Pony? We're going to have to go and search inside of our big stables to see if we have any of those ones. To be, I mean, look at this. Look at this. How much would it cost to just buy that headpiece? Let's go to Plain Jane the Unicorn and we're actually going to see. This is our beautiful unicorn, Plain Jane. We're going to come over and we are going to see how much would it just cost to be able to buy that gorgeous headpiece for the Scorpio 3. Because it's it's really quite stunning. So let's go into there. Look at that. Jane, you look awesome. I think I'm actually going to become a constellation and fantasy horse specialist. That's kind of what I want to work on in Horsehaven right now. Maybe that will change in the future, but that's just kind of what I'm thinking about for now. But let's see... We have, do we have any new exclusive wraps available? Holy moly, we've unlocked a whole bunch of them. Wow, this one's really pretty. Jane, what do you think about those? That's really pretty. That would go pretty well with uh, the Scorpio 3. But let's look over here. It'll be under the headpieces, pretty sure. So can I, can I please, can I please see headpieces? Okay, wait, I can see. I can see every, oh, I don't think that Jane can have headpieces because she's a unicorn. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jane. That really does make it so you have to be plain Jane. Okay, well, let's go to another one of our horses and see if we can buy. Uh, who's somebody who's not a unicorn? All right, what about over here? Who do we have hiding behind all of our beautiful flowers here? We have Goldenrod. Goldenrod is actually one of our Amber Fairy Horses, tier one. Let's see if he could possibly wear. Man, he looks awesome. Let's see if he could possibly wear the special headpiece. And he can, so unicorns cannot wear headpieces. I did not know that. Uh, let's see, is this it? 
I could swear. Oh, man. Oh, this is so cool. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. This is awesome. That's the headpiece. That is so cool. I love it. Oh, my goodness. And you can just buy these headpieces like this. Ah, they're awesome, you guys. Look, we can actually try on all of the headpieces that go with the yellow rose cup. I didn't know you could buy them for diamonds. That makes everything so much easier on figuring out what to spend my yellow rose cup points on. Oh my gosh. But also, I, I wonder, does that mean that the special piece, so these are the Scorpio pieces. You can see the mask, and then you can see the other piece are like these awesome ram horns. But that doesn't answer some of my questions. What about the really amazing, like, drippy, glowy look? Is that part of the horse itself? Come over here, you amazing Scorpio 3. Oh my gosh, it is! It's in the mane itself, like these beautiful diamond crystals. And I wonder, <gasps> that is! The, the front headpiece is part of the mane itself. Okay, out of my way, everybody. Now I desperately need to, like, have that specific horse. I am so excited. So let's see if we can find ourselves some of these horses. Maybe I can spend a little bit of this weekend trying to put together a list of horses. Oh, thank goodness. Once again, we are saved by our wonderful Willow, who has been with us for a super long time. So we do indeed have a Rocky Mountain. And now the question is, do we have an Oldenburg? So let's see. Let's look for Oldenburg. Uh, I don't know if we do. We might have to desperately see if one of our Horsehaven friends has an Oldenburg. That's going to be our quest for the day. I didn't actually have to come inside of my uh, my stable, but I'm kind of glad I did. Yay, Rose! Congratulations, you leveled up! I forgot I had everybody like out and building experience points in our barn. Man, you know what? Every time I jump back into Horsehaven and share it with you guys, I remember how much I love it. And I remember how excited I am. Oh, yay, hero! Congratulations! You leveled up too! How excited I am to be able to just work on it. I, I guess, would you guys ever just want to do like a chill Horsehaven livestream just so I could organize all my horses? <laughs> we would have to figure that out, but it might be pretty fun. I forgot before we left last time, I actually went ahead and I had a whole bunch of my horses go out uh, so they could... Oh, there we go. Midas is leveling up. <laughs> the reason they're leveling up is last time I was here inside of the Grand Stable, I put all of them out in the fields with stable hands so that they could build experience points. And apparently it really worked. Whew. All right. So now that that is done, do we have an Oldenburg? Zara is going to be... Uh, Zara is actually... Oh, look at that. About to level up. But Zara is actually a paint? Let me double check. Yeah, an American paint. And so what you can do when you're inside of your grand stable, in case you didn't know this, is you can still level up the horses that are in there. If not by directly feeding them, you can actually say, okay, I want them to go board with my friends for a few hours. So we're going to give unknown. And you know what? Let's zip all the way back here. Nearsight, uh, Ju uh, Juciana, and Ut are going to be able to go ahead and hang out with Zara for a while. And he'll come back actually having leveled up, which is pretty fun. But we don't actually have to be inside of the Grand Stable to be able to figure out what's going on. So let's get out of the Grand Stable. <laughs> I really need to upgrade my Grand Stable so we can have a huge horse farm. That would be amazing. All right, let's gather up those coins. And then, okay. Here we go. This is the way you can kind of look over everybody really quickly. I don't see any Oldenburgs or any Dartmoor ponies. We have we have a Camiera pony right there, though. And we have a Fredericksburg right here. So we might have to have, like, a horse sorting special episode or a special horse day. You guys will have to tell me, like, which horses you guys have. Uh, did we need a Camiera pony as one of the mixes? We sure did. So now we just need to see if we have a Clydesdale. So we have very close, very, very close to so many of these mixes. Let's pop over into the German ranch. I have another grand stable over here. We'll see if we have one of the missing mixes to be able to breed up these amazing horses. I want this constellation horse more than I have wanted any of them before, to be completely honest. Even the beautiful pink flower Sakura Blossom ones, I've never I've never wanted quite as badly as this one. All right, so here we have a Dutch harness, and then here, oh, another pony. Is that the one we're looking for? Uh, 
Uh, no, it is not. Okay, and we need an Oldenburg. I could have sworn I had an Oldenburg. Oh, this Grand Stable desperately needs upgraded too. Ah, it only has like three things because we need more room in the Grand Stable. Oh no. Okay, the only other place we can kind of run to check for horses is up to our UK ranch. So let's run up to the UK ranch and see if we happen to have a horse. Oh, and we have a baby Shire. Welcome to the family, little Mora. So he's gonna go right down there. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like... Do I have the Grand Stable here yet? Oh my gosh, I don't even have the Grand Stable here yet. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have run out of options for being able to find the horses that are required to breed up the Scorpio 3 within our own farms and ranches. But we're not going to give up hope yet because we happen to have quite a few high-level horse haven friends. So let's go see if we can find the horse we're looking for to pair with Willow, a Oldenburg, amongst one of our friend's horses. So Kristen's usually on top of things. Let's go ahead and check out her little ranches really quickly. If we don't find them soon, then I'll have to go through and sort for everybody off camera because it takes a long time. <gasps> Who are you, you gorgeous thing? The exclusive thoroughbred. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. So I don't see any Oldenburgs, but there's a Virgo 2. Thoroughbred tier 4. Fredericksburg. Wallaria. All right. Let's go check on her German ranch. Maybe we'll have better luck there. Usually a lot of the high level players, as a little FYI, tend to uh, be working on all of the events. So if you're like me and what this Libra, beautiful. Oh my gosh. If you're like me and you're desperately trying to figure out, oh, where's the horse? Where's the horse that I need? Uh, usually it's worth it. A Clydesdale, a Clydesdale. It's a tier four Clydesdale female. Oh my gosh. Okay. And a Dartmoor pony, a Dartmoor pony and a Clydesdale. Okay. Wait, let's go back home. You can usually rely on the higher level people to have the horses out because they're trying to do like the events of the month. So Dartmoor Pony, we need a male Dutch harness to pair with that female Dartmoor Pony or we need a male pony. Oh no, so we found the right horses but we don't have the right breed. Like we don't have the right gender. Okay, so we actually need a Dutch harness now. Okay, that's a paint again. I could swear we had a Dutch harness, like several of them. I could have really, really sworn. Dutch harness, Dutch harness. See, this is why I need to make a list so you guys don't have to like sit through me searching and searching. That's Dutch warm blood. Oh no, oh no. And the Clydesdale. I guess we could go ahead and try breeding with it uh, anyway, but it's level four, so that might be a really low chance. Wait, are these Oldenburgs? I don't think these are Oldenburgs. I'm gonna do a dance if these are Oldenburgs. Nisha, oh, Wittenberger, oh, dang it. All right, well, here you go. You can go ahead and have some carrots. All right, guys, we're scrambling for Scorpio year three this time. It looks like amongst my ranches, I do not happen to have the Scorpio that we are looking for. Ah, let's make sure these are not by chance Oldenburgs. Nope, it's a Morgan. <laughs> Just a hanging out in here. But what we might have to do is a ranch tour, a grand ranch tour very, very soon, searching out one of those horses so that we can try desperately to breed up for a Scorpio 3. I haven't wanted a constellation horse this bad in absolute ages. Patience, what are you again? I had a Varian. Well, thank you, Patience. But all right, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more digging to try to get one of those horses. We might go ahead and try breeding one of our horses up against uh, one of our friend's horses just to get like a chance at the gender. Let's try Hannah's horses and let's see if Hannah is doing anything really quickly. And if that doesn't work, oh, and then also if you guys have been trying to friend me on Facebook, don't despair, never panic. I just have not been able to get on Facebook for a little bit. Uh, oh, that looks like a Clydesdale. Oh my gosh, hopefully we can come back to Hannah's place and snag ourselves a Clydesdale, baby. But I haven't been able to get on Facebook for a little bit, but I do want to go and do like a mass friend except, uh, for, oh, look at these beauties. Look at that Virgo 3. Oh my gosh, that Libra. 
this Leo. This year I have been missing out on some really awesome constellation horses and I don't want to let that happen any longer. A lot of you guys have already been snagging the Scorpio 3 and I have to say I'm quite envious. All right, are any of these ones I would want? Nah, these are like mythic level Rocky Mountains though. Dang, this is so cool. I definitely need to do some ranch tours. So this could be really fun. Let me know what you guys think. That might be something that we would consider doing in the future as a live stream. Uh, possibly, possibly not. Oh, the exclusive Arabian. Oh my gosh. They're so beautiful. They're so beautiful and they're not quite the ones that I need. Sharon, Sharon, do you happen to have them out? Let's go check Sharon's place. But... I just forget how addictive it can be. There's so much to do in Horse Haven, and now that my game is finally working again, I definitely want to start getting back into the, the rush of all of it. Oh, let's see. Is Sharon going to have one of the ponies out that we really need? Maybe Highland ponies. They're all so beautiful. Not quite what we're looking for. We'll check just the last couple ranches. Also, let me know what you guys think about all the ranches we're seeing because they're definitely a lot better taken care of than my current ranches and they're giving me lots of ideas for how we could try to improve our ranches. A male Dutch harness! A male Dutch harness at Sharon 53 level 53 French ranch. Male Dutch harness. Oh my gosh. And he's low level, which means we have a higher chance of getting the babies we're looking for. Hang on, guys. We're running back to the ranch. I think that we just had a fantastic breakthrough. All right. Nope. Wrong one. Sorry, Yellow Rose event. We'll talk about you next time. There's just too much to do. All right. Male Dutch harness. I don't have a dirt for pony. I could have sworn I had a Dartmoor pony, but I do not. Is there one like available at the at the horse market, which I like never use? Dartmoor pony? Gotland pony? Ah, dang it. All right. Well, so close and yet so far, my friends, but hopefully we will eventually be able to <laughs> to figure out how we can get the Scorpio 3. I will sort through my horses and try to make a list so we spend less time just running in circles. Oh, 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 Darmar Pony! Yes, okay! And let's go ahead and try breeding with one of these beautiful, delightful Dartmoor ponies and see if we have any luck getting one of our own. Let's go ahead and have Julia, our warm blood, try breeding with Omar and let's see what we happen to get. Dun dun dun! Dun, 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 dun. It looks like we might get a black forest, which would be really fun, but not quite what we're going for. We really want this Dartmoor pony baby. So let's go ahead and encourage the Dartmoor pony baby and let's see what we get. So we have a new foal incoming. Maybe this will get us a little closer to that Scorpio. Keep going. Oh, well, yay. <laughs> At least we have a beautiful black forest horse, which is one of the gorgeous ones I have been eagerly wanting to work on breeding up to start with. And I'll pop back over here and we'll see if we have any more luck with our wonderful friend and we'll ask for help. We'll see if Sharon, there's Shannon, there we go, Latasha, Sonia, Nicole, Sebastian, Dylan, Unknown, Hannah, there you go, everybody helping us to breed up a little faster. But we will have to see if we have luck getting a Dartmoor Pony from Sharon next time. But all right, guys, you might see quite a bit of horse saving coming up because I am going to be eagerly chasing down the Scorpio. And I would love to hear how you guys are doing on the Yellow Rose event, woo! Which currently has 30% more like points available. What, what is that about? Really? Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys! Now is the time to come in and harvest your stuff because you might be able to get more yellow rose points. So I'm also going to be frantically harvesting all of our crops behind the scenes. I have been working really hard on that. We'll talk about it next time because, oh gosh, there's just way too much to do to talk about all of it at once. My gosh, <laughs> it's amazing. But we have managed to get to the first level with 300 of the Yellow Rose event coins and we got our five diamonds. So now I am mostly working on the harvest event and a few of the quizzes and steeplechase events here and there. Hopefully next time we come back I will have snagged this beautiful Yellow Rose tier and we can start working on wiggling our way up to one of the trophies, possibly as part of a harvest event, which I think would be fun because we can imagine that we got those trophies for having an absolutely fabulous rose garden. But all right, guys, I hope you're having a great time with the Yellow Rose event. Let me know if you're having a better luck with these stunning Scorpios, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.